Hello, hello. Uh, you're muted, Lee, Lee. At least for me. Uh, Chris, are you uh, are you safe and not in Austin today? You no, know, I'm I'm in China, so I'm definitely safe from the packages uh, okay. situation. But not my significant other, unfortunately. Hopefully, you're yeah. hanging in there too. Yeah, that way we're we're not too far away from it here. It's, uh, uh, yeah, it's it's been wild to read, uh, and and apparently a new a new one today, but it was at a packaging facility. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what a couple hours ago, uh, one intercepted at the airport as well. Oh wow! Yeah, I have, to, I, I have to catch up on on my news. I just got to China today, so. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it should be a short meeting today. We'll give people five minutes past. There's a few people that already sent their regrets, so we're just going through some 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 basic updates, election schedule, and all that stuff. But I'll, I'll wait till everyone to get on. Hey all, we'll get, we'll get started uh, about five minutes uh, past. It'll be a, a fairly brief meeting uh, today with uh, many TOC members uh, not being able to make it. But I posted the deck in Slack and also uh, on the Zoom conference messaging system. Hello, Ben. Is that you, Brian Cantrell? Yep, it's me. Awesome. Hey. It's a th hey, Ben. It's a thin crowd today, so we'll, we'll start in a few minutes.
<clears throat> All right, it's about uh, five minutes past, uh, so we'll get started. I uh, posted the deck on uh, the Zoom chat uh, and Slack, so hopefully everyone has it in front of you. Uh, Alexis uh, can't join us today, so um, I'll be doing my best uh, impression uh, of him as TOC, uh, TOC chair, lacking the uh, amazing British accent that he has. Uh, before I kind of get started, uh, is Brian Grant, Camille, or Solomon uh, here in the list? Yes, I'm here. Hey, I'm, there you are. I missed you. Sorry. Sorry. Sig architecture. <laughs> I know, too many meetings. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, so Alexis, Ken, and Sam can't make it today. So, unfortunately, they send their uh, regrets. Um, the agenda is going to be fairly brief uh, uh, today. Um, so, We'll go over a brief little update on where we are with the TOC election. Uh, we're going to be welcoming some new projects, uh, a little discussion on the status of the uh, sandbox, uh, and then we'll kind of just uh, go over um, the community backlog and open it up for questions since we'll have uh, quite a bit of um, time today. So uh, on slide six, um, we have, uh, you know, kind of an update where we are with the election. So uh, some of you are aware um, we have two TOC elected seats um, coming up uh, for um, election, essentially. We uh, went through a nominee period where uh, the TOC um, came up with some nominees. Uh, we have 10 folks currently um, that are being evaluated. If you look at the TOC schedule on slide six, we are currently what is known as the uh, nominee qualification period. So this is essentially the time where, or we're gonna be getting there within two days, sorry, in China, so my mind's a little uh, time zoned off, but um, in two days, we're gonna enter this nominee qualification period where the TOC and the governing board essentially qualify the list of 10 nominees to ensure that they uh, meet their uh, standards for TOC candidates. After that happens, uh, we'll have a formal vote uh, by the seven TOC members to select uh, the two more folks um, that they want. Does anyone have any questions here uh, before I move on? I know it's a little bit uh, complicated, but that's kind of how uh, we came up with this process when we started. I have a question. Sure, Brian. Which is, um, I haven't seen any discussion on any of the candidates. Do yep. other uh, TOC members have feelings about uh, whether there should be discussions on the either the mailing lists or um, how welcome, I guess, additional statements by candidates are and, and things like that? I know people, I've heard from a couple of people that they're wondering uh, with the sort of radio silence, what's, what's going on. What would those discussions entail, Brian? If I may ask. Um, getting to additional levels. Brian, you're on mute. Yeah, we we, we just oh. we just lost you, Brian. Sorry. <laughs> um, I was just thinking, getting to additional uh, levels of detail beyond what was just provided in the blurbs for each candidate, yeah. which are almost incomparable um, in terms of what information maybe, they provide. Not yeah. that I would get, I'm just asking, maybe if we had like a questionnaire or something and you had each candidate to answer that, what their feelings are to get a better feel for the position. I mean, I guess I just... Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, the intention was for governing board and TOC members to reach out individually if they had any questions on necessarily qualifications of the candidate or um, what their uh, reasoning for wanting to join the TC, TOC would be. That was the original intention, at least, Brian. Okay. So. Any other questions on uh, the election schedule? All right, uh, moving on. Uh, number seven, uh, slide seven. So we, uh, we have a new project um, that entered incubation uh, recently. Uh, Nats uh, actually is 
one, it's one of the interesting projects is they presented to the TSC first uh, quite quite a long time ago, but uh, we're glad to have them um, part of the CNCF project uh, family. It's just a high performance messaging system used in Cloud Foundry and uh, by a bunch of other companies um, uh, out there, written Go, of, of course. So we're very happy to have Nats uh, part of CNCF. Um, they're going through the transition of moving to the Apache 2 license, which I saw them doing over the weekend, which is great. Um, I don't know if uh, Derek or I think Ginger is on the call. If anyone from the Nats team wants to uh, say anything, um, now's, now's a good time. If not, uh, no worries next time. Hi, this is Colin from the Nats team. Uh, Derek couldn't make it this morning, but I uh, would like to thank the committee, thank Alexis as a sponsor. And then, uh, you know, we, we think Nats is a great fit for CNCF and we're really looking forward to the future with you. So thank you. Awesome, Th thanks Colin. Very cool, all right, um, slide eight. So um, we currently have a vote going on for uh, Linkerd to move from uh, sandbox less inception to the incubation level. Um, you know, we have a set of, uh, you know, uh, criteria for what it means to move to incubation, um, which um, I've tried to outline uh, here in terms of what Linkerd uh, meets. Um, it's also uh, discussed in the project proposal um, via the GitHub pull request linked here. So um, my reminder to the TOC and wider community, um, please get in your votes um, as uh, it would be great to come to a conclusion uh, on this. Um, does anyone on the TOC have any particular comments on this? I know Brian, you've had some discussions on the mailing list um, uh, uh, on this, uh, you know, trying to maybe keep it subjective or subjective, but um, I don't know if you have any comments uh, to say right now. Uh yeah, I think the um, there have been some good things uh, raised in the thread. I don't see any reasons to not move forward right now. Um, so I guess I should actually cast my vote. Uh, but th definitely, there are some things that um, we should apply to the uh, to the other. Uh, project reviews to try to get discussion earlier, perhaps pre-vote, and yep. um, somewhere we should probably keep track of areas of concern that we should watch for projects um, so that we can potentially help those projects in those specific areas. Uh, point taken. Any other comments from the community of the TOC? When does the vote close? So uh, the, the beauty of this, Justin, is we don't have a formal kind of uh, votes close in one week. So they're kind of uh, unbounded. Um, so uh, my goal would be to corral the TOC to get their votes in by the end of this week on a personal level. Answer, does that answer your question? Chris is the whip. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, if anyone have any questions, please comment on the mailing list or pull, or pull request um, the kind of votes, votes live. Uh, so slide uh, nine. Um, so we have another uh, new project coming in. Uh, so uh, Spiffy uh, is coming in uh, through the sandbox. Um, essentially, it's in the security space, providing a secure identity for uh, services. Um, it is sponsored by Brian Grant, Ken Owens, and Sam Lambert. Um, our plan is to uh, formally announce uh, both Spiffy and uh, the project of this OPA on, on March 28th uh, in terms of joining CNCF in the sandbox. Uh, Brian, do you want to speak to Spiffy or is anyone of the Spiffy team on the call about the project? But uh, First the of all, I just want to thank the Spiffy team for their patience as we sorted through the uh, inception to sandbox transition. Um, the, uh, the new model requires at least two TOC sponsors, but not an official vote um, for people who weren't following along. So Spiffy and OPA um, were started before the transition. In fact, it's a, a vote on Spiffy had started 
uh, before the transition, but now they're moved over to the new process and are going to move forward. Anyone on the Spiffy team? I, I didn't see anyone here today. So, all right, cool. Uh, moving on, um, uh, slide ten. Uh, Open Policy Agent, or uh, OPA for short, is also coming in the sandbox and will be announced on, on, on March 28th. Uh, the TOC sponsors are uh, Brian Grant and Ken Owens, but OPA essentially is a general uh, policy engine that is uh, being used in, in all sorts of different interesting places that there's, uh, I know the Kubernetes community is, is looking at uh, amongst uh, the Cloud Foundry community and, and so on. So since this is another one of your projects, Brian, feel free to uh, speak to it. And I also believe Torin is on the call from the OPA team, so you may want to speak. Yeah, so a lot of systems uh, like Kubernetes and others have um, sort of specialized policies uh, for expressing certain things like authorization or uh, validation rules for uh, different, um, different types of uh, concepts and resources in those systems. And all these things are kind of ad hoc and inconsistent. Uh, and also not fully general. So OPA is interesting in that it provides a general, more general uh, model that it is pretty expressive uh, and we're seeing it being used in more places. So not only can this increase the level of consistency and power of um, expressing policy for existing types of policies and existing specific systems like Kubernetes, but you could potentially st start to see more consistency across different systems, which will be a boon to admins who are trying to figure out how to em enforce all of their uh, organizational policies, uh, whatever they may be. Cool. Uh, is there concrete plans for Kubernetes to adopt this in a future release? I, I don't know uh, if we'll adopt it with uh, built-in support in the near future. We're currently focused on extension mechanisms for things like authorization policy and admission policy. Uh, and we have seen it plugged into those places. Uh, okay. So given, given the current focus on admission, it may, uh, or extension, general extension mechanisms, it may be a while before we see it built in. Thank you. Uh, anyone from the OPA team want to say anything? I think Torin's on, but not sure if. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm here. Uh, hey, Chris. Hey. Hi, Brian. Hey. Um, yeah, no, not, not too much else to say. That you guys summed it up quite nicely. Um, I mean, the only other thing I would just point out is that um, you know a lot of the value that people have seen from from using OPA, from adopting OPA so far, has been that it just like speeds time to market quite a bit because they don't have to like roll their own you know evaluation engine for for something that's usually not like core to most projects or most businesses, right? So. Um, so that that's been that's been a big value, I think, for for quite a few people. So, uh, yeah, uh, thanks thanks a lot uh, to to Brian and Ken for for helping kind of shepherd through this, and Chris also for helping organize a lot of the uh, other other things. So yeah, it's been a good process so far. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Torin. Anyone have any questions for the OPA folks while we have them? Uh, this is Quentin here. I just wanted to add a brief comment. I've worked with the OPA guys for several years on the. Cluster Federation project in Kubernetes, where policy determines things like which clusters run which kinds of jobs, et cetera, and uh, had lots of success with the OPA model, would strongly support it as a sensible way forward. Thank you, Quentin. Uh, hey, hey, this is Lee. I'll, I'll add to what Torin had expressed, and um, and that is that uh, as we're building new new product here, we did an evaluation of BPM open source BPM um, capabilities in the space, and found that while some of them have been around longer and are a bit more advanced, particularly in terms of like visual uh, policy design, um, that they were pretty heavyweight, weren't necessarily built with distributed systems in mind, um, weren't written in our language of choice, which OPA is, and so we are. <clears throat> we're off to the races with um, embedding in OPA. Awesome. Thanks, Lee. And anyone else? Uh, I'd just like to add that um, it's been a pleasure working with them, and it's a really nice project, and I'm hoping to incorporate it in some projects soon. Yeah. 
Thanks. Thank you, Justin, from, from Docker. Uh, anyone else? All righty. Cool. Uh, thank you, Torin, and uh, look forward to us uh, announcing this formally next week. So thank you. Great. Cool. All right. Um, moving on. Uh, slide 11. So um, yeah, so uh, as Brian discussed, um, you know, we formally approved uh, the sandbox. Uh, there's been some discussion around, um, you know, people's viewpoints of us, uh, you know, necessarily lowering the bar versus uh, the naming. So um, at the last TOC meeting, I kicked off um, a poll amongst uh, the TOC and the official TOC contributors to see what their viewpoints on the name was. And we ended up with a funny enough, a kind of, uh, you know, inclusive answer where people uh, uh, tied uh, the name sandbox versus workshop. So um, that was a little bit of interesting as a kind of side effect. But um, after speaking with Alexis, um, he wants to essentially table, uh, you know, this discussion if we're going to act on on this date in any form uh, until the next TOC meeting. So just wanted to share that information uh, with everyone and thank everyone from the TOC and the TOC contributors um, um, that voted uh, on this. Uh, does anyone on TOC want to make any comments uh, on this before before I move on? So uh, I guess the endorsement voting was supposed to avoid a runoff election, but uh, yeah. do you think we'll have another vote on j just the top two choices? So, uh, so there Alexis are an is an odd number of TOC members. So I, in theory, we uh, should. It, be it was it, yeah. So for uh, Alexis's suggestion was for the second round have just a TOC vote on on Sandbox versus Workshop, but okay, I want to wait till he he gets back. I just want to thank everyone for, for voting. So it seemed uh, those, th those are the two names that were definitely liked. So, and we'll go on from there and make a decision by the next TOC meeting. Any other comments here? All right, uh, moving on. So uh, slide 12 and 13 are basically all about kind of the uh, project review and, and calls for due diligence. Um, uh, you know, we've had a few projects that have uh, submitted kind of GitHub issues to present uh, to the TOC. Um, I've highlighted one of them um, that I think is of interest to the community uh, and uh, we'll eventually schedule them for a presentation. It's a project called Telepresence from a company called Datawire. Uh, I recommend everyone on the call and um, within kind of the wider TOC community to comment on that issue if they have any concerns or not, but I look forward to bringing them on to present to the kind of uh, wider community. Uh, anyone have any questions here? Um, all right, I mean, uh, you know, Outside of that, uh, you know, there's no formal kind of working group updates outside. There's some amazing work going on uh, in the cross cloud CI slash CNCF CI working group. Uh, Ken is also kicking off a revamp of the um, uh, essentially uh, what is known as our reference architecture. So I linked uh, the TOC GitHub issue 90. Uh, feel free to ping on that issue if you want to work with uh, Ken and the group of folks that are working to update that. Uh, slide 18. Um, yeah, we have, uh, you know, events coming up. So uh, I hope to see many of you in Copenhagen uh, in early May. Uh, we have our first KubeCon, Cloud Native Con in, in China and Shanghai in November and uh, our big North American event in, in December. So uh, please uh, reach out if you have any questions on uh, sponsorships or anything else around that event. Uh, slide 19. Um, our next meeting is going to be April 3rd. Um, we're going to be hearing from the uh, CNCI, CNCF CI working group uh, and kind of an update on the cross cloud CI work. They've done some really cool things of, uh, you know, getting our projects building on all the different cloud providers, uh, you know, from bare metal to uh, even kind of more interesting um, environments. So uh, they'll be giving us update then. Um, and we'll also, I'm, I'm going to do a formal uh, update on kind of the working group 
uh, process. I've had a couple of folks reach out to me on wanting to start working groups in CNCF. And, uh, you know, I kind of want them to follow the process we set in place for new project proposals and so on. So uh, have people submit a PR, have it reviewed and have them present to the TOC before we formally accept the working group. So I'll get that done for the next TOC meeting. Other than that, we have, uh, you know, we're, we're ending early, so we have lots of time for any questions and answers if, if people have it. Um, if not, uh, we'll, we'll call the meeting early. So any questions from the TOC or the, the wider community? I have a question. So you mentioned sure. that there have been some suggested working groups. Are you able to yep. say what those working groups are? Yeah, sure. Uh, one is around, uh, let's call it security, uh, uh, policy management and so on. So uh, the nickname of the working group is called SAFE. Uh, there's another one around chaos engineering um, that uh, people want to kind of bring to CNCF, which involves kind of standardizing on uh, an API uh, and potential approaches for chaos engineering within um, the Kubernetes slash cloud native ecosystem. So those are the two ones kind of uh, on deck right now. So I, I would be interested in getting involved with the security one, what would be a good way for me to find out more about? Uh, sure, shoot, shoot, me, shoot me a note uh, via email or find me on Slack. I'll, I'll introduce you to the folks. Um, eventually, they're going to go crystallize their proposal with, via pull request to the CNCF TOC repo and formally present to the TOC. But I'll, I'll drop the intro um, if you just reach out to me. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Okay, going once, going twice. Well, uh, thank you, thanks everyone for their time. Uh, hopefully um, Alexis is back next time and, and kind of steers things, but uh, it was great to have everyone on and uh, I look forward to um, welcoming our new project. So it's great to have Nats, OPA and Spiffy part of, part of CNCF. So see everyone in a couple weeks and uh, enjoy your 30 minutes, minutes. Uh, back. Go, take care thank all. Thank you. Yep, bye-bye. Bye. Bye, thanks.